Welcome to Presidential Experience Podcast, the place where we chronicle the search for meaning over money. I'm your host, Kenne Corder, National Certified Counselor and the world's number one clinical hypnotherapist specializing in financial therapy and stress management. The month of May is all about mental health awareness. So I'm going to attempt to bring you an episode every weekday that addresses what affects our mental health, all of us. So we're not going to be talking about deep diagnosis, you know, acute and chronic and the real severe stuff that we're not going to talk about. We're going to talk about what affects the masses. But since I brought that up, I want to mention that there's a lot of over diagnosing going on in the world. I worked in a hospital, a psychiatric hospital. And while I was there, what I noticed was that so many people got diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar. That was the probably the most common and then maybe schizoaffective. So those were the most common diagnosis that I would see. And then it would be what's called comorbid. And that is other mental health challenges connected to that. So co meaning more than the one. So the other ones would be alcoholism or uh, some kind of addiction that I would see a lot. And this ties into my subject in the way that I believe that there's an internal and an external voice. The internal voice is that still small voice, that real voice, that authentic voice that should be guiding you, but rarely does. The external voice is all the stuff that has happened to us, the programming, the trauma. And I believe that a lot of those diagnoses come from the external stuff that has happened to us. Maybe when we were five years old, we were molested. Maybe when we were seven years old, some teacher told us we weren't going to amount to anything. Maybe when we were 11 years old, we were bullied by some kid at school. All of these things, all these traumatic experiences cause us to do, it guides us. These traumatic experiences guide us. And so it may be the cause of us getting on a drug. It may be the cause of us becoming promiscuous. It could be the cause of us not doing anything at all. And that's not usually taken into account. And so trauma shows up as schizophrenia. The same symptoms show up. So my my thought today is that we talk a little bit about the internal and external voices. And the only reason I want to talk about this is to bring some awareness. Maybe you're noticing something in your children, especially your teenagers. And this can help you say, ah, maybe my teenager's external voice has something to do with something that happened to them. It could be something that you don't even know, sadly enough. But it could also be something that you did because you're passing down your programming. And that's so sad because that's what we do. We pass down our programming, even though we didn't want it. We tried to rebel against the programming, but we got it. And the external voice is that programming. The external voice is the voice that says, you can't do it. You're not good enough. You suck. The external voice is the voice that says, you won't be able to be any different or better than you are right now. That tells you don't even try. The external voice is the voice that tells you you don't have control over yourself because you don't have control over the world. You don't. Even though you've been programmed and it now has control over you, you actually don't have control over. And the more you you are in your programming, the less control you have over the world. The more you go into your inner voice, your internal voice, the more control you have because that's the voice that's the voice that controls you and the more you control you the more you can control the world because you have control over you in fact that's the only thing you have control over and even that is limited so go there listen to that still small voice inside of you so let me help you understand the difference the external voice comes from programming it comes from the messages you heard from society your parents just maybe even your friends 
it comes from, like I said earlier, those traumatic experiences that happen to us. Some of them trauma, some of them traumatic. That's where our external voice comes from. The external voice is all the meaning we have given to the things that have happened to us because it's not really about what happens in the world or what happens around you. It's really about what happens inside of you. And a lot of times what happens around us governs what happens inside of us. Now this one 10 or 12 minute podcast episode is not going to change your life but it can bring some awareness and that awareness is the first step to changing your life or the life of somebody around you. Maybe somebody is listening to their external voice and you know they are and you can share this podcast episode with them or you can try and have a conversation with them and say, I see so much inside of you. Listen to your inner voice. I grew up in a church that that taught us to listen to our inner voice. My parents, they taught us to listen to our inner voice. That inner voice is your gut. That gut voice, that's your inner voice. And you have to practice listening to it. So today I want to encourage you to take one or two steps towards your inner voice. Just do what your inner voice tells you to do, not the external voice. The external voice comes from your brain and is loud. The internal voice is soft and you can barely feel it or hear it, but you know it's there. And it's the first voice though. The internal voice comes first and it says, oh my gosh, this would be so cool if you could do this. And then the external voice says, don't even think about it. And then you, you fall off. Think about when are, when are the times when that inner voice gave you some inspiration, some spark, some guidance. And it said, go this way. And then that external voice got really loud and was like, don't go that way. That way sucks. It's, in, it's unfamiliar. You don't have no idea what's down there. But you know what's over here? Discomfort. Let, let's go with discomfort. Even though we don't like it, it's familiar. Might as well keep it because we don't know what's over there. It could be even worse than discomfort. Or it could be even better. But that external voice won't let you. It won't let you try it. But the internal voice will. So that's my encouragement to you. Just listen and just start to differentiate between the different voices, the internal and the external voice. Remember, the external voice came from everybody else. The internal voice you were born with. This is the last thing I want to say. If you don't want to do this alone, you can do this with me. I started a 16 week boot camp. This boot camp is going to help you get to like the life you love, a life of prosperity, a life of meaning. It's going to help you build your relationships, build your immune system, build your bank account. If you have money, but you don't have meaning in your life, this is the group for you. You need to be in this boot camp. If you have meaning, but you don't have enough money in your life, this is the group for you. You need to be in this boot camp. But if you don't have money or meaning in your life right now, oh my gosh, but you know that it's possible, then you definitely need to be in this group. So I'm putting a link in the description or in the you know show notes about underneath this episode because there's no there's no website for this episode. This, this month of May is just me coming at you, dropping some... 10, 15 minute episodes on you to help you listen to your voice inside, to help you reduce your stress, to help you increase the peace in your life. But this 16 week boot camp is something that can help you do that even more because you'll have me, you'll have my team, you'll have the tribe. So go ahead and click the link. I'm also going to put a link on our website, presidentiallifestyle.com, but the link in the show notes might be easier just click the link and um and i'll see you in the club because i am ready to build my relationships my immune system and my bank account because let me tell you in 2010 
I had gotten really stressed, really, really stressed. I was a hero. I was taking care of everybody around me before that. From 2003 to about 2010, I wore myself out those seven years. And then I just had to take a break. And I moved to Atlanta and my body was breaking down and it was, it was awful. And I knew I had to do something different. And so this, what I'm showing you is what I did for myself. Today, I have the cleanest bill of health and what was about to be an autoimmune disease did not hit me. And I know so many women, but men too, but so many women who contracted autoimmune disease all around that same time. But I refuse to do it. So I'm asking you, what do you need to take control of? Is your Are your relationships suffering? Is your health suffering? Is your bank account suffering? What do you need to take control of? Especially when it comes to this COVID crisis, this healthcare crisis and this financial crisis. Like, you don't have to be afraid of this. We can, as a team, as a group, as a tribe, fight against this. I'm in. Are you going to come too? If so, click the link and I'll see you in the club. In the meantime, have a prosperous day, my prosperos.